If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over strategy cards, how to get the speed boost strategy cards, which is probably the only strategy cards most people really want nowadays. Similar to Sprinter last year, that, that was the one thing you like to use, right? Strategy cards are important this year. They did replace the chemistries. And from what I've seen, guys, speed boost strategy cards are super hard to get, super rare. But I'm going to show you guys how <clears throat> kind of the best ways to go ahead and actually try to get these strategy cards. Now, there's a few ways. One way includes a lot of coins. One way includes trading up. One way requires some patience. I'm kind of grinding out the patience way and seeing if I can make my way up there, which I will go over in just a second. But guys, before we get into the video, if you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up, and of course, if you want to be shout out on the Poodle Squad, shout out all you gotta do is like the video, comment down on the Poodle Squad, and of course, be subbed. Today's shout out goes out to Lucid Bills one shout out to you man for being a part of the Poodle Squad, thank you so much for showing support each and every day. Now, let's get into this guys, so... First things first, people might wonder, how do you get strategy cards? Uh, there's quite a few ways. One of the easiest ways will probably be going ahead here to players. Coming over to strategy card item, which is 5,000 coins. Is this common or better, guys? From what I've heard, you could spend a few hundred K here. If you're lucky, pull a rare or two. A lot of uncommons, a lot, a lot of commons. But of course, you can always exchange them up, and I'll go over all that in a second. The way I've gotten almost all my... I've never bought that pack. The way I've gotten all my strategy cards, which is at least 20 to 30, give or take... If you actually level up your ultimate season, you will go ahead and get your uh, a lot of cards through here. So if you go to ultimate season rewards, remember, you can always just get them legitimately, like, just by, by playing the game. So if you check here, uh, so let me go back there. So if you see a common strategy item at level 11, there was, I think there was some in the first 10, too. You get another common strategy item at 34. Uh, let's see here. You get another one at an uncommon at 16. You get, let's go over this real quick. You get, let's see. Level 40, you don't get one. You get an uncommon at 42. You get a common at 46. Now, I believe at level 30, which it's not showing me here. Hold up. Let's get to level 30. At level 30, you also get a rare. So there's the rare right above my head, as you guys can see. So you get a, at least one rare out of this level up here. And then if you actually go ahead and play campaign and you go ahead and play a bunch of solos, you will be able to go ahead and get them there. Now, I recommend you do all this stuff because... It'll make it a lot cheaper if you can get these now for in terms of exchanging. So if you go to campaign, right, you back out here, you look above uh, to the right of my head. You see that you get seven common or better strategy items, which are some more. And then I also got a, um, let's see, there was the rare. There's a bunch of uncommons, a bunch of common or betters. And then you also make sure you're doing your daily. If you do your daily, which is two solos and a pack, you do go ahead and you do get your daily common, which I pulled a lot of uncommons out of. So once you do all those things, you should have built up a decent binder set of strategy items, which I'll go over and show you guys now. So again, I have already done some exchange sets, so I'll have less than maybe you'd expect based on all this. Now, if you look here, guys, these are my strategy card items, which I have quite a few now. I had more on commons, but I did trade them in. I had more commons, but I did trade them in. So I have two total rares right now. Now, if you guys are wondering, these are rares. Why are there no speed boosts, right? Not all rares will have speed boosts. Actually, only a dozen or so, like only uh, in comparison to how many strategy cards are, only some have speed boosts. Now, the speed boosts are the valuable ones. For the time being, guys, don't think that these aren't good. I still use these short tackling and heavy hitter right now. I'm just rocking with those so I can go ahead and actually... I'm just using these until I can get the ones I want. Now, I recommend you stockpile as many commons and uncommons as you can. And I'll show you guys why. Okay, so once you have all these cards here, right? You got as many cards as you can. Of course, you can also go buy the pack. Once you have a whole binder built up of a bunch of strategy cards, what you're going to want to do is go test your luck. Now, again, you're going to want to do this anyways. So my initially, I was like... Is it worth trading in all these strategy cards for trying to get speed boost ones, right? Originally, I was like, these are really, these are good cards, but you can only use two on offense, two on defense. So there's really no point of holding on to like 20 of these. At the end of the day, you're only going to use two and you're going to use only the two best, right? So I'm never going to use a common over these legendary ones anymore or the rare ones, I should say. So I was thinking about it or the actually our legend ones right here. So I was like, I'm, why, why keep Iron Wall or Bull Rush or over the top and all these other things? When I'm going to head, and again, there's some random ones in my lineup right now because I've been, I've been just exchanging them, playing solos. So, why hold on to them? There's really no point. So, just take the ones you need. And, of course, even for even for the rare ones, the thing is, if it's your first rare, I wouldn't recommend maybe exchanging it right away. Because in case you don't get the one you want, you may be upset and be one less down, which is hard to get. But as you go on, it won't be too bad to do. So, you're going to come over to sets and come on over all the way to exchange. And you want to go to strategy card items with strategy item exchange. Now, these are all the sets you want to be working with to try to go ahead and get the cards you want. So, first off, if you want to get a rare item... You come down here, 
so here's the thing there is the set of 40 which right here so you get a rare item with commons you're gonna need 40 total common items that's quite a lot quite a lot it's not gonna be the easiest thing to do if you pulled it straight out of those 5k packs it would be 40 times 5,000 coins which would be 200,000 coins worth so essentially this set costs 200,000 coins worth again if you save up your dailies you're fine but that's 40 days worth I probably won't be doing that pack now if you're opening up the the re-rolls over and over again eventually you can also throw them in there because you're not open if you're just opening strictly you know you pull some rares in there some uncommons you could throw some in there as well then there's the rare one which is five uncommons for random rare, which i actually have done this one already so this one's actually pretty simple you get five uncommons you just toss them in there one two three four five you get a rare so pretty much want to keep my my recommendation is trade all your uncommons in for rares and then trade all your commons in for uncommons so look, i could do this right here i can create myself an uncommon which is a green one so I have a total, I could probably do this set, let's see, 5, 10, 14. I could almost do this set twice. So you, you trade them all in. Now, I don't want to trade these in yet because this is speed for my Saquon Barkley. So I want to hold on to that one. So what you do is you trade in them in towards uncommons. Then you take your uncommons and you put them in here to get them into a rare. Once you have some rares built up, and if you could, A, you could pull speed out of those. If you pull the speed from those, congratulations, you're super lucky. Never trade it in. You pull speed one, do not trade it in. So what you're going to do next is, right, so let's say you have a few rares, but none of them are speed like mine. What you want to do next is you want to come on all the way down to the fantasy pack exchange two rare items for your choice of one of 10 random offensive strategy items or vice versa on defense so you're probably wondering is defense or offense better honestly it really comes down to you because if you do the defense one you pull speed it's not going to help your offense if you pull the offensive one you pull speed it won't help your defense i honestly think i'd rather have the speed on offense probably i mean offense is super easy right now but i know as the year goes on you're going to want to get your wide receivers your running backs up more so than you probably will your quarterbacks but then again, I also have my Saquon speed booster ready. So maybe I want to go defense. Either way, what you do is you go into the set. I don't want to do this yet just because I'm trying to build up some more. I'm going to do like a massive video, probably doing them all at once. I want to get probably two more of these. So I can do the fantasy pack twice. I'll be really upset if I do it and don't get a speed. What you want to do is you're going to go like that. You're going to put them both in. Once you put them both in, you're going to get a fantasy pack. The fantasy pack is going to contain. You're only going to get two for one. Remember that. So you're pretty much giving up two to get one. So it's you're going to open this fantasy pack. There's going to be 10 options. You're going to go through them. If you're lucky, one will have a speed option, which you will see on the card. It'll say plus, like, you know, the, the speed. Like, play, rec, block, shit, speed. It may just be for cornerbacks. It may just be for wide receivers. It may be for the offense. There's going to be some stuff there. Now, personally, don't look at anything other than the speed ones. Now, if you get the speed when you take it. Now, if you get two or more in there, you want to compare. Okay, do you want it more at this position? Do you want it more at this position? Do you like it more on this part of the offense? Factor that into your decision. Then the next thing you want to do is... There is a chance, guys, that you don't pull a speed one. You pull 10 straight that are just like the two you gave up. So essentially, you lost one. Now, that is a chance you're taking. That is a chance that everyone's taking. But the goal is to work your way up to speed ones. That's pretty much just what this game is going to come to. We all know it. We all expected it as soon as we saw speed on here. And we knew that there was exchange sets. But to wrap it all up, guys, that fantasy pack is a little risky. But that's only really risky if you're going ahead and you're opening up the 5k strategy items and you're trying to just reroll. You can spend that hundreds of thousands of coins doing this. If you're doing it the way I'm doing it, it's not that risky because I worked my way up from free commons to uncommons to my free rares. Throw my rares in there. So I'm kind of just keeping a reroll on them for free. Eventually, I'll probably start spending coins to get the ones I want. But I just want one, I just want one speed one on each side. And then, of course, you can keep getting more as you go. And if you get lucky, you can pull them out of your common, your, your, your daily common or betters. Probably super unlikely, but it's possible. That is how you get speed ones. You pretty much get speed ones by doing this fantasy pack. Because from what I've heard and what I've seen, it's almost impossible to just pull them. Now, you can just pull them. It's possible. But their, their hit rate is low. The chance of pulling a rare is very low. So, like I said, the best thing you can do is exchange up. I mean, uncommon to rares is just a great exchange set. I mean, it's not that hard to get five of these. So, get five of these, trade them in, keep getting your rares. And then, if you get speed, you keep them. If you don't, you trade them in. That's kind of just the deal you're doing with right now. Hopefully, this video does help you guys out. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell on. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And, of course, guys... If you want to be shout out on the Poodle Squad shout out, all you gotta do is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad as well as turn on the Noti Bell. Be subscribed. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.